Hey, hi friends. Welcome back to Bob Automation Lab once again. And uh, let's continue this session related to the APM TDD framework. Okay. So previously we have learned folder structure in the last session and uh, we have already like understand how we require to set up uh, all tools and technology for to automating the mobile applications uh, in emulators or any devices. Okay. So in this session, let's create a one like a basic script. Uh, first of all, let's understand what mistakes we are we are doing while writing the automation script for the APM. Okay, so we're creating one basic script uh, for the login or to launch this uh, Swag Lab application in our device. Okay, after that, let's understand how to inspect the element uh, to the Swag Lab applications uh, for the multi different different automation scripts. Okay, so let's uh, first of all let's create a one package in this. SRC test Java folder. Okay, we have already created this um, Maven type of framework here. Okay, so Maven type of build automation tools. We have created this Maven project here. Okay, if you don't know how to create the Maven project, I have already explained in the previous sessions. Guys, please watch that. Video. Okay, so let's create a one package like here. Con dot. Let's say we just dot. Uh, we can create tests. Okay, we are creating one basic scripts here, and in this way, uh, test, let's create a one test ng class. So go to test ng and uh, create one test ng class here. Okay, so I'm uh, taking two annotations here before test and after test. Okay, so I have already explained and the separate session related to the test ng. Test ng. If you want to learn that one, you can go to the playlist of test ng and you can pause that sessions as well. Okay, so here I'm creating one test is name name as Swag Lab Swag Labs login test. Okay. We'll just create one this test. This is one is the test, and this is the before uh, test after test. And two annotations is here. Okay, I'm creating this one. Now let's uh, name it. Uh, change the name for our test. Whatever name we are given in the uh, like swag lab uh, for the class, we need to define some different name here. So I'll give given name like a swag lab labs. Login test. Login test. Okay, so I'm creating one basic script here to the login test. Uh, login test. In this login test, uh, let's say uh, it's create for a invalid or a valid username. So I'll, I'm creating this for when valid user. Name. You can type like this as well. No okay, issue. Okay, swag lab, uh, swag, swag lab login event username test. Uh, this is one test we are creating. Now, in this before test, well, let's create a one class here, yeah, like this. In the before test, we are creating like uh, something like that. Let's say we need to require to set up our uh desired capabilities to launch our uh swag lab app in our emulator so we have this apm server set up here so let's start this apm server so it will start on the port 0044723 after that let's open this one like uh, uh swag lab emulator where we have already installed swag lab e-commerce app in this device okay so let's uh, define some desired capabilities here so desired capabilities to better understanding what I'm doing, I'm just testing this test into the middle of this. So before test, we are doing something. In the test, we are doing something. And after test, we have or like a feed over a driver or anything. So first of all, let's I'm defining one driver here, like an APM. Let's say driver. I'm just holding on this. Importing APM driver. Now, in the uh, before test, we require to set up our desired capabilities. Okay, and writing, uh, we'll write a script here for invalid username. So, first of all, in the before test, I'll define like a desired capabilities. Let's say desired capabilities. Uh, we can type like a capabilities. is equal to let's say new desired capabilities 
Okay. After that, you use this capabilities as a variable, and uh, we'll set up some desired capabilities like the set capability. Uh, let's say string or uh, index string name and string value. So first, we require to set up a capability like a platform name. Okay. Platform. Okay, after that, let's say platform name as we require to set up as an Android. Okay, and after that, let's say again another capability like the set capability. Again, let's say string name as string value. Let's say device name. Device name. And in this, we'll set up a capability like the emulator. Okay, so how to check the device name? So go to CMD and uh, here character type like a ADB devices. Okay, and you can get the device name which is active currently, right? So we'll just copy this in one letter 554 STD. And then now let's understand here with, with these two capabilities. Okay, what we have done, we have set up platform name Android and device name emulator, which should be good from this command prompt. Here, while setting up this, I have uh, lot, lots of time I have seen many students like uh, making mistakes like uh, they write uh, this e capital, this uh, n small, this d capital, this n small or this android, whatever you are defining in the capabilities. Now, it's a very case sensitive guys. If you write this p as a capital or you can make any mistakes here in the spelling mistake, it will name the work. So understand this, it's a very case sensitive language. So write a platform name as it is what uh, here I mentioned like this and type a device name as well like this only. After that, let's set a capability, one more capabilities here. Capability the dot set capabilities again, go to string name as string value. And here I'm setting a capability like app package, okay. So app package name app, uh, or we are not required to set up your name. Let's type just only app package. Okay. And here, let's say set up app package. So how to get the app package? We have already seen in the previous session here, how to get the app package name and the uh, app activity name. Okay. So app package name here for the Swiggy language, I'm setting this because multiple times we have set up this one. So the app package name is like a form dot swag labs swab labs mobile app this is the app package name for this swag lab demo okay after that let's set up the capabilities for the activity name as well set capability string name and string value Okay, here we can go and uh, type like app activity. Okay, and here you can type like a com dot sim in the same way form dot sim swag lab mobile app then main activity. Main. This one done. After that, let's set up a UR. So here I'm going to explain you something like this. I'm using JDK 21. Okay. So how to ensure that we have JDK 21 when you are using in your system as well. So go to Windows, type here the preference if you are using Eclipse, and here type like the install JRE. What do you have to type here? Installed. Installed JRE. Okay, click on here. And here, make sure here only one JDK is showing like this JDK 21. Uh, if other is showing, click on that uh, uh, particular JDK URL and uh, remove that one. So set up only JDK 21 and apply and close this. Okay, start up. Okay, also we can click this uh, checkbox as well if required. Detail will start up setup. Okay, now we are using JDK 21. So JDK 21 having some changes to set up this URL. Okay, for example, if you are like using older version than JDK 21, then you can simply set up like this URL, like URL, 
url uh, let's say url is equal to new we can say url and we can set up here like the url is like uh, in the bracket let's say http colon double slash like one to seven dot zero dot zero dot one colon we can type like a four seven two three and after that let's say wd slash up. so this is the url okay you can simply set up like this if you are using older version and if but in the if you are using 21 the url is uh from the java.net is not no no longer available like if I, if I throw this declaration it will showing like this okay at super warning result so how to set up this in the uh, jdk 21 so if you are using jdk 21 that we have some changes here like you are we need to type like a uri okay so uri and you can type like this url is equal to new uri and inside this we require to send this url and now uh, let's import this uri from java.net itself okay and i'm just committing this code okay it's not if you are using old version you can use this one okay if you are using jdk 21 so most most probably uh, the current version of jdk is now 22 but this is the most stable version guys so i'll prepared this one and you can also prepare jdk 21 while practicing so it will be easy for you so url url and after that let's say uh, you have created driver already here apn driver so driver dot uh, driver is equal to let's say new and here you can need to define like android driver assigned to our apm driver so android driver and this uri url we have created like url dot to url we require to set up and then we need require to set up like the capabilities so this one so okay so even for older version i'm not using this one so i'll just remove it one remove this one Okay, now if you require to understand the uh, app package and the uh, app activity name, whatever we defined, it's correct or not. So we have already defined these commands like, okay, so find out this command uh, into your CMD. Go to CMD and type this command and just click enter. So it will re uh, return us these values, right? This is our package name. Uh, sorry, this is our package name. Mm. It's a current focus app, so it is no uh, no currently focused app here. Let's see what is this. Yeah, we have not any focused app here. Okay, so let's uh, do this one again okay. and go to the CMD. Open one app here. So I'll just open our swag lab. app. Okay, whatever focused app, it will return that uh, app package name and activity name for that particular app. So current focus app is swag lab. Is so now swag lab app. So this is our package name. On the server activity right so you can copy paste this activity and package name in our code as well right it's here so i have defined the same way which is uh, the command is written right so let's close this one okay and now let's run this program to see whether we are current set up correctly or not okay let's uh, close this one let's start our apm server again now to start click the server on welcome window and just right click on this program 